All right, guys, week two, video two. And today we're actually gonna do another pearl pour. Um, after I lay down the pearl recipe and uh, stretch out the paint, I'm also gonna do a Dutch pour. I'm only gonna use a straw to do the Dutch pour, not a blow dryer, um, but it gives a great effect and it adds a little bit more um, paint to the canvas so that there's not so many pearls, uh, but pearls do pop up through the Dutch pour itself. Um, I forgot and to mention this with the last video. But we're using the same uh, series, five colors, five ways, and five days. And those five colors this week are gonna be not only listed in the details below, but they're also in the very first video. I explain exactly how I make some of the colors because I did um, combined a lot of colors to create at least two of the colors. But it's a really beautiful color combination, so I hope that you enjoy, and let's get started with this messy masterpiece. Okay guys, so here you see me with just a cup of paint because I only add water to the paint that I'm gonna need for that specific painting. That way my binders don't start breaking down like I discussed yesterday. Um, in the video I did yesterday. I'm just kind of moving the paint around the canvas trying to fill in all the blank areas so that the canvas doesn't show. You can see exactly how thin the paint is. When you're working with paint this thin uh, there's a couple things to think about. First, um, since it's such thin paint uh, you need to make sure that all your sides are covered well Second, um, when you go to torch for air bubbles, you want to torch less because the paint's so thin that you'll scorch your paint easier. And so now I am just layering my colors. I really love this color combination. This maroon with the uh, Creative Inspirations Payne's Gray is really beautiful together especially with some gold on top but um so i'm just layering the colors in a line this time instead of puddles and that's because i'm planning on doing a dutch pour so since i'm going to be putting a line of paint to blow out um i am doing lines instead and it doesn't have to be from side to side you see how how i'm kind of going from corner to corner because it's such thin paint that it's not going to stay side to side. So now I'm adding the gold. And I'm not putting as much gold because this gold spreads out a lot. This is not the Creative Inspirations gold. This is the 14 karat deco art. And it's just it's amazing how it will add colors to it will add shimmer should i say to all the colors on the canvas and not just where the gold is it'll spread out to all the colors so now that i have my colors laid out i'm going to clean up my hands a little bit and then i'm going to start spreading my colors and like I said in yesterday's video, the first two corners, I kind of want to just work slowly with getting the paint from one corner to the other. Um, and then once you get to the last two corners and you're kind of stretching that paint thin, that's when you want to start trying to work a little bit faster to get the paint off the canvas because your pearls are going to already start popping up. And like I said yesterday, I don't like a lot of pearls to take over my entire painting, so I tend to leave a lot of paint on my canvas. And that's why my pearls look a little bit different than others, is because uh, most people are wanting the pearls to take over. Um, and that's also why my pearls are smaller. If I was to let a lot more of that paint drip off the sides of the canvas, my pearls would be bigger, but it would also take off over a lot more of the area that I'm wanting 
to be vibrant with color instead of pearls. So now I've got my layout of colors. I'm deciding where to put um, the layer of colors for my Dutch pour that I'm going to just be blowing out with a straw instead of a blow dryer. And this is some of the pearl mix uh, that I'm putting on the bottom of the colors that I layer. And that way it will have pearls pop up through the Dutch itself. You see how the pearls are kind of really taking over the area of the canvas that I, pearl, I poured off the paint first? And that's because that's the thinnest area um, that I that has the thinnest paint layer because I stretched that paint off the canvas and then I went to the other side and I continued just to pour paint off the other side. So everywhere from the middle that I'm pouring on right now to the opposite side it has a thicker layer of paint on it so the pearls aren't going to take over there. So now I've got my straw and I'm going to start at the top of uh, the area I'm blowing out for my Dutch pour and that's going to show you how amazing these color combinations are together. Um, it just makes a beautiful purple color when you add that maroon to the Payne's Gray. So it, even though it's a five color combination it's really so many more colors than that. But you'll see I'm just blowing it out here. It almost looks like kind of a uh, very beautiful fantasy type of Christmas tree in a winter blizzard or something. <laughs> I'm just wanting to move that paint a little bit more towards the side because whenever you do a Dutch over a pearl pour, um, even after you blow it out, for some reason it starts to sh shrink a little bit um, and you'll see that the colors will get thinner and start getting uh, shorter as well and so that's why I blow it out again just to make sure that it stays where I'm wanting it to be. And now after looking at the canvas a little bit, I'm realizing that I don't really like how just dark that area is on the side when there's no other dark areas on the canvas. So I'm just kind of trying to balance it out by blowing that color a little bit to lighten it up through the dark Payne's Gray. This one is a beauty though. It is very busy, but the colors are just out of this world. And I will show you the wet results and the dry results in just a second. If you liked this video or the painting, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another Messy Masterpiece. I mean, look at how vibrant that is. That is just mind-blowing. Um, I just love it. It reminds me of some fantasy winter wonderland, and 
I'm amazed by how beautiful it came out. Okay, this is the dry results, and I just, do you see what I'm talking about with the gold shimmering over all of the other colors? It doesn't just stay on just the gold area, it spreads throughout. That's why I love that 14 karat gold. But yeah, I'm going to call this one Winter Wonderland. I think it's beautiful. Let me know what you think.